Hello everyone, this is Khalid Abdullaya from Rawad Al Yaman International Schools. Today we are going to continue our revision. Today's revision is the fourth one. Today we're going to talk about conditional sentences. As you know, there are three types of conditional sentences. Let's look at the first one. The first type is called type 1. Type 1 structure is like this. If plus present simple. This is called the condition. In the result, will, won't, can, may, might, plus the verb in the base form. Look at this example. If I study hard, I will do well on the test. So, this is the condition. This is the result. So, I am sure that if I study well, I will do well on the test. My grades will be okay. Or, I will do well on the test if I study. So, you can change uh, the places of the, the result and the condition. Type 2. Look at the difference. In type 2, the condition is in the past simple. Type 1, the condition was in the present simple. In the result, we have would, could, plus base form. Be careful. If you have a negative form, it would be after the model verb, after would and after could. For example, wouldn't, couldn't. Look at this example. If I didn't have to work, this is past simple in the, in the negative form. I'd go to the birthday party with you. Or, I'd go to the birthday party with you if I didn't have to work. Let's practice. I'd visit France. Look here. I'd. So, which type? Correct. Type 2. If I have the money. So, we want a sentence here in the past form. If I had the money. If he not apply for the job, it means you, you need the verb to be in the negative form. He'll miss a good job opportunity. So, here, will plus base form. If he doesn't apply for the job, he'll miss a good job opportunity. Spot the mistakes. Look, these are some grammatical lessons and we will explain each point. The first lesson. I saw a man walks in the street. Uh, there is a rule ab uh, about uh, sense verbs followed by an object followed by a verb in the ing form. So look at this sentence. This is a sense verb. C plus a man object and the verb here is in the present simple form so we need to change it into the, the gerund or ing form this is the correct uh, I saw a man walking in the street so the, the correct sentence is I saw a man walking in the street This car is as faster as mine. So where's the problem here? As, as, between as the first, as the second, there is a comparative form of the adjective. So it should be fast. The car is as fast as mine. This is a rule. Between as and as we write the positive form of the adjective, not the comparative form. If you want to be a teacher, you must show patience. Where's the mistake? Good. Patient is the mistake. You should write patience. 
after show we write the noun of the adjective not the adjective the slimmer you get the healthy you become there is a, a mistake here healthy it should be healthier why because you have two parts here one depends on the other the slimmer you get if you get slim the healthier you become you become healthy so if it is here in the comparative slimmer healthier comparative here and comparative here have the students to write the new lesson where's the mistake exactly If you start the command with have, you need an object, and after the object, you need the verb in the base form without to. It's a lovely red new bag. Where's the mistake? Adjective order here. This is an adjective, belongs to the, the color, and this is to the age it should be new red bag adjective order he listened careful where's the mistake the mistake is careful it should be carefully because carefully is an adverb and adverbs describe the verbs listen We know that our neighbor is an honest person, a honest person, right? The mistake is in the article a. It should be an because h here is silent. An hour, an I'm sorry, an honest person. And you can say an hour also. These two ends are the same all. Where is the mistake? Correct. Old is the mistake here. Why? Uh, you still remember this rule. As. Fast. As mine. Between as. As we write the positive form of the adjective. But after the same, we write the noun, not an adjective. So the same old should be the same age. Age is the noun for all this is the how this is the house he lives in it it is the mistake in this sentence it should be this is the house he lives in let me explain why because uh, originally these two sent uh, the uh, there are two sentences here this is the house one sentence he lives in the house or in it he lives in it two sentences when we combine them into one sentence we don't need to repeat this pronoun because it refers back to the house the second sentence he left his country uh, was feeling depressed he he left his country was feeling depressed where's the mistake right actually there are two sentences here he left his country one he was feeling depressed another sentence when we combine them we should omit the subject and the verb after the subject so it should be he left his country feeling depressed without using was I'd hate listening to loud music where's the mistake the verb here in the ing form gerund but look after hate we write a verb with ing form or with 2 plus infin uh, infinitive but because hate 
was preceded by would, we need just to write the verb with the infinitive, to plus base 4. Would you mind to open the window? Request here. Where is the mistake? To open the verb. Why? Look, mind is followed by gerund, the verb with ing. So, uh, here, to open is infinitive. It could be with, with, uh, with other verbs, but after mind, all the time we use the gerund opening Ayman and Suad look at herself in the mirror reflexive pronoun so Ayman and Suad the pronoun is they they look at themselves but if you you, you talk about uh, Suad you say Suad looks at herself Ayman looks at himself. Let's have some conversations. Complete the dialogue. A. Can you help me? I have blank my brother. I've lost my brother. How old? Is he? He's seven. What's he? He's wearing a black jacket. Uh, I, I'd like to give you a piece of advice. When you read conversations, you have to wait until you read the answer or the response of the, the other person. For example, uh, I have blank my, bro uh, my brother. Don't start answering. Just wait for the second uh, speaker uh, to give you hints. Like this. What's he? You cannot uh, fill the blank with any answer without looking at the response of the other speaker. He's wearing a black jacket. So you can infer the answer here. So what's he wearing? What did you, um, what did you, sh uh, there, uh, there should be a verb here. What did you do, or when did you, I'm sorry, when did you last, yeah, it's correct here. When did you last blank him? I saw, look, this is the clue or the hint to help you guess the, the missing word here. When did you last blank him? I saw him an hour. Uh -huh. So, I saw... Uh, when did you last last? It couldn't be uh, last. It should be, when did you last see him? So, I'm sorry for this mistake. I saw him an hour... Correct, ago. So, when did you last see him? I saw him an hour ago. Let's continue. Uh, meanings, definitions, and vocabulary. Uh, as you know, uh, in your book, you have to, to know the meaning of uh, a lot of uh, words, definitions from the science reader or art reader, and uh, the vocabulary written in your book. Meanings and definitions. Choose. A blank is the highest or is the highest part of a mountain. This is a meaning or definition. Good. A peak is the highest part of a mountain. Two. The early part of a person's life means rare man childhood childhood blank is a form of energy sound reflection light light ibn nafis was a geographer 
physician, chemist, physician, doctor. Choose the correct answer. A frightening dream. Is it brilliant? You, scenery, or nightmare? Yeah, it's a nightmare. Yeah, in the past, in the past test, we used to give you tables like these. But in the coming test, you, you won't find them. But let's practice. The verb suggest what the what uh, is the noun for this verb? Suggestion. Sometimes the given word is a noun. Application. What is the verb? Apply. Transmit. Transmission. With this, I come to the end of the fourth part of our revision. Khaled Tulaya from Rawad Al Yaman International School was with you. See you.